Absolutely. Well, they're watching right now. It's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning in Japan and 11 o'clock tonight in London and many other places around the world. First bogey of the day, and he's the champion again. Check that scoreboard again. Well, there's no great jubilation yet. He's not. He's still uh, a little concerned that perhaps he might have blown it, but I think he's going to be all right unless somebody gets a, holds their second shot, the 17th of the evening. A round of 70 for Curtis Strange, even par today. One birdie on 16, one bogey on 18. And the cool Virginian, I think, is an appropriate name for this man. He, he's rock solid. Yeah, that's the moment. <laughs> Getting used to this embrace at the end of U.S. Opens, those two. They have two children. It's a great Father's Day again for Curtis Strange. One of the other players there, Peter Jacobs, isn't it? There's hugs all around here. Yes. <laughs> now he must go in and check the scorecard, his responsibility, that it is correct. As recall, of course, Roberto and Dave Vicenzo signing an improper scorecard at the Masters and missing an opportunity to tie for that title with Bob Goldberg. Whether he would have won the playoff or not, I wouldn't know. 